In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to the Moodle discussion forums and show you how you can use that to create student engagement and to track participation. In it, I'll show you how to create the discussion forum in the first place, how you can direct the conversation that happens there, how you can configure the discussion so that it tracks student participation. I'll toggle over and show you the student experience. And then I'll return to the teacher view to show you how you can moderate and drive that discussion. So with that in mind, here I am logged in as a teacher. I need to turn editing on and then navigate down through my course to where I'd like to place the discussion. For me it's in this section. I click Add an activity or resource and then choose the forum option from the left hand menu. The first thing I'm asked for is a forum name. Now it's in the description area that I encourage you to write a, a really um, clear set of instructions to students about what you expect them to do and this is the first point at which you really drive the discussion. Quite often forums sit in there unused because it's not clear to students what they're to do and when. So I'm going to post in a for example discussion post here and just describe some of the features I've found to be useful. I'll scroll down just a little bit. The first is to ask them direct questions to respond to so they understand the purpose and intent. The second is to describe to the students what your expectations of them are. So in this case I want them to respond to each of their questions but it might be that you're also expecting them to have a conversation with their fellow students and if that's your expectation make it clear to them. So if in my example I direct them to read and reply to at least two of your fellow students. So create that climate for engagement. Now because I'm being quite direct in what I'm expecting my students to do I really only want them to respond to my post. I'm going to simplify the experience with my students. Under the forum type drop down menu I'm going to choose this first option a single simple discussion. Basically that's a very simplified form of the discussion board where all the students can really do is reply to my message and that's appropriate in this case but of course you would choose the option which is most appropriate to your discussion topic. Now we need to set some settings for this discussion. I'm going to leave the majority of them as they are but I'll draw your attention to a couple of them. The first is this common module setting so I'll click onto that. Now there's a little sneaky setting here that we've got to be really careful with. It has to do with this group mode. At the moment it's configured for separate groups so it's basically set up for group based discussions but in my example I want each individual to reply uh, so I need to allow that and the way I do that is by setting this to no groups. So that's an important setting and if you, you're finding your students are saying to you that they can't reply it may be because you have that setting wrong. So ensure that that says no groups and then I'm going to look to the activity completion section I'll scroll my screen down and set this up so that it can record participation. So if we think about what participation could mean with discussions, it's really that the students contribute something, that they either post a topic or reply to an existing topic. So let's configure it that way. We're going to choose from the drop down menu here, the last option, show activities complete when conditions are met. And the conditions that we're requiring is that they must post a discussion or a reply. And in this number field here, it's set to one, so at least once. So that would be valid participation from our students. And then I'm going to save and display. So this is how that discussion now appears from the teacher's perspective. Let me quickly swap hats and show you that same experience now from the student side. So I'm now logged in as a student. I'm going to navigate down to this section that this related to and click on the particular discussion forum. I can 
as a student read the instructions that my teacher placed for me and then I can hit the reply button with my answer. So now your students can go ahead with their reply. Once the students have penned their reply, they can scroll down. I'll just illustrate some of the options they have here. They can have the system send them an email copy of posts to this forum, so if they want to subscribe to it and receive emails so they don't constantly have to log into Moodle to find out what's going on. And then they can post this to the forum. They're given a message to say that they've got 30 minutes to edit their response if they've made any mistakes and then they bounce back to the discussion forum. And now you can see this notion of what's called a nested discussion. So at the moment it's set to display replies in a nested form. And you can see that here is the initial post from the teacher. And then nested below it, indented, is the response to that from the student. OK, so I'm going to return one last time to the teacher perspective. I can see this student post. And now we're looking really at how teachers can moderate and drive the discussion. Around the notion of moderation, you can indeed delete messages if you feel them appropriate or edit responses from students. I don't generally tend to edit a student's responses. I think that that is, is taking a little bit of a liberty with their words. But you can reply to them as well to draw out more um, discussion and thought. And I think that by replying to the students, you're engaging with them and you're driving that conversation further. So use your replies as a way to, to fuel the conversation that happens here. When forum drop away, it's often because the teacher is not actively involved in the discussion. And then you can hit post to post that to the forum. So now you can see that there are three messages and you can see the relationship between those messages by their indentation level. And that's it.